And in Shrouded, there's a lot of mechanics. It's a brand new game. Some of the things because of early access are not explained that great. As you can see, I'm sitting here outside of a wolf's cave. They're just ignoring me. That is because of certain perks I have. But what's interesting the game does not bring up, you can actually have one of these wolves guard you. In fact, you can have one of almost any aggressive animal guard you. As you can see, I literally can just walk right up to this guy. Guard. He is now my combat buddy. No, you cannot have him stay at your house. He will not sleep in a bed. He is not a peaceful, kind doggo. But you know what? He will sit there and bite people for you. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to actually trigger this. As you see, he is just flat out following me now. Now, their pathing is not perfect. This is an early access game. I'm sure this will actually get upgraded over time. Now, one limitation that I'm going to warn you about right now. If you've got one of these guys guarding you, do not attack another wolf. Do not attack another type of similar aggressive animal. You really want to use these against something that is non-animal. And since the first perk in the line that really helps you with this is makes all animals peaceful, it really doesn't matter. So we're going to come straight into skills. Now, as you can see, there's a Beastmaster skill line. You're going to have to take a few. It's going to give you a few different perks. But the one you really want is Calm Spirit. Now, I don't know why they tell you that it makes creatures within 50 meters, since anything beyond 50 meters ignores you anyways. But basically, it just means animals don't want to eat you anymore. Now, if you're an explorer who just wants to learn the lore of the game, you're a player who just wants to craft big giant things, great perk. This one, though, is the key point. When you're targeted by an attack, wild animals within 50 meters will attack the enemy. I thought this meant exactly what it said. I assumed that if these wolves were out here when a smurf jumped out of the dark and tried to eat my face, they would be like, oh, hey, my friend is in danger and jump and back me up. Now, they'll actually do that. They will attack the blue smurf guys roaming around and they'll fight them. But here's the cool part. If they fight them, I will still get XP. Really stop to think about that one for a minute. So I can just have this guy. It doesn't even matter. I can just have him. I can walk right up into this. Now, I have found the best way to use these. Now, I am using a wolf from the early zone simply because I didn't want to ruin the game for anyone. I didn't want to show off the big scary looking creatures because that is way more fun to find on your own. But I can walk around. Now this is great at night when he's following me because those little blue mushroom smurfs will appear everywhere. And I can just roam around going, oh look, I found new stuff. I found all this loot. And there's one right there. Now, as soon as he sees me, he really wants to kill me. I just simply raise my shield and look at that. My buddy is now fighting with me. It completely ignores him. I have just gotten XP from killing that creature. I have now gotten free loot. I mean, when you think about all the things that you can use this for, because worst case scenario, the wolf doesn't make it and I still get loot either way. I didn't spend three hours taming him. So, uh, you know, I'll just go get another wolf. And some of the later game enemies that are animals are scary strong. So they can literally shred a creature faster than I can. So this is a great tip on ways if you're not a combat player or you just like having a pet companion. Another big thing is, as you can see, he kind of circles and moves around me, if you notice. He will actually hunt down prey species. They will actually go after rabbits and everything else. So you can see if I come over there and I crouch down, there's a sheep right there. I could use some arrows. And see, he is howling. And he is going for it.
Now, since I got too far away, he stopped. But if I crouch down, they will continue circling and doing this. I think he's actually seen something over there. But, well, it would be fun to watch him just kind of hunt down all these different creatures. I think that's what you need to know for this. And with that, I hope this helps. I hope it makes the game more fun. And if it did, give me a like and subscribe. I hope you'll have a great week in Enshrouded.